With all of the discussion around firearms, gun range owners in our area expect their businesses to change, but a change one gun, gun store owner didn't expect is a change in the demographic of gun users. WSAB's Meg Porterfield with more. Well, it is officially a new year, and this year a lot of people in our area are taking up one resolution, learning how to handle a gun properly. And this year, a lot of those people are women. Well, interestingly enough, the uh, classes are now running 50-50 or 60-40 female to male. So we're seeing a lot more women coming to the range uh, for the qualification and certification of getting a concealed weapon permit. And as far as why these trends have changed, gun range owner Edward Soto says times have changed. Ten years ago, we did not have that rush to get those permits. And yes, there are a lot of single women with children. Uh, and they're looking to a, a way to defend themselves and empower themselves to be able to defend themselves and the family. With the introduction of Georgia's new concealed carry law, Soto says many Georgians who come to his range in Hardyville, South Carolina, favor South Carolina's stricter gun laws that require safety training. So we see more people from Georgia disappointed in that type of law because there's no education for those people, either male or female. You walk in a store and buy a weapon, put it on your person, put it in your car with limited knowledge on how to utilize that weapon safely. And for women, he says safety training means more confidence handling weapons. Uh, so the education we give here in South Carolina uh, is essential. Uh, we also find that it empowers women as opposed to somebody handing them a gun, they're afraid of it, they don't know what to do with it. Well, Soto urges anyone looking to buy a firearm to seek out safety training before making any purchases. From Jasper County, Meg Porterfield, WSAV News 3, on your side.